Alexa, turn on smart bulb. Okay. Alexa, change the color of the smart bulb to red. Okay. Hey Google, change the brightness of the smart bulb to 20%. Sure, setting the smart bulb brightness to 20%. Hey Google, turn off the smart bulb. Okay, turning off the smart bulb. Hi everyone, my name is Caroline. In this video, I am setting up and reviewing the smart LED light bulb. This was sent to me by my friends at Mocreo. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Mocreo. I'm not really sure. Uh, but anyway, they wanted me to set up and review their LED smart light bulb. So I'll be doing that. I'll be doing an unboxing. I've got my lamp right here and I'm ready to get started. I'm going to start with the unboxing here. Uh, this is pretty simple packaging. It says it's Wi-Fi enabled and it works with Amazon Alexa. And we see there is a little green on the bottom of the light bulb. So this is a standard light bulb that it's working with. And in terms of instructions, uh, it says Magic Home and there's a little QR code that we're going to scan in the next step. Next step is I'm going to take out the regular light bulb and replace it with the L smart LED light bulb and see if that lights up. There it goes and it works. All right, so now let's get the app on my phone installed. Now I'm going to use the QR code and I'm recording everything on my screen on my phone as well. So first thing I'm gonna do is open my QR code reader on my phone and I'm going to uh, scan the QR code. And here it goes, and I'm gonna open it. And it gives me choices for an iPhone, Android, or even the APK, which is the developer's version. We're not gonna do developer's version, I'm just gonna do Android app on the Google Play Store because I have an Android app. If you have an iPhone, uh, select the Apple icon. I'm going to accept terms of service and I'm gonna install Magic Home Pro. And I'm gonna open Magic Home Pro. And it says, click here to add a device. Probably need to have my light bulb on at this point. And I'm gonna hit add a device. I need to uh, create a, an account now on Magic Home. And I've successfully created my account. Excellent, now I'm gonna log in. and I'm gonna click allow. Now it's connecting the lights. Voila, there's my bulb right there. So it's on and it's got 100% brightness. We have our smart bulb working with our Magic Home app right here. So I'll show you, right, I'll turn my screen record right now and I'll show you my Magic Home app and you can see bulb and a number behind it and I can tap on it and I can change the colors and I can change the brightness. I don't know if you can see this with all the lights, but it's on the green light right now, pink, red. We'll change it back to white now. But the purpose of this video is to get this working with our Alexa, or if you have a Google Home, a Google Home. So let's get started right now on that. So I'm still in the Magic Home app here, and I see the bulb right here. It's uh, The light is on, the brightness is at 100%. I can turn it off and on right here. I'm gonna turn it off for just a second here and I'm going to rename the bulb. The first thing I wanna do is just give it a name because when I say to Alexa, I don't wanna say, Alexa, turn on bulb A06880. That's not gonna be any fun. Let's, let's just need, rename this something pretty simple for demonstration purposes today. So to rename the bulb, what you need to do is long press the in the, in the, in the menu right here where you see all the devices, long press the bulb and then rename will come up. So you wanna hit rename and then you want to name it something a little bit easier to remember. So I'm gonna say smart bulb and I'm gonna hit confirm and now it's called smart bulb. I can still turn it on and off. Okay, now I'm gonna hit the menu button in the top left hand corner, the, the three bars and I'm gonna hit device manager. And uh, you see this uh, globe sign right here? You need to hit the globe sign and then you need to hit remote settings 
and then you need to hit the authorization. I missed a step earlier. I had to go back to the manufacturer and ask them how to do this. And they said I needed to authorize. So I'm gonna hit the authorization button right now and I've authorized my account. Go back and I've got my smart bulb working on my app here. Now we're gonna integrate with Alexa. Go back to my home screen and I'm gonna to go to my Amazon Alexa companion app right here. So let's start at the beginning here. This is your home screen when you log into the app. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the menu button and I'm going to go to smart home. I'm gonna see all of my devices I already have online right now. I've already, I've already loaded up a bunch of devices. I'm adding a new one today. I'm gonna to scroll all the way down to the bottom and, it, and on the bottom it says your smart home skills. I'm gonna to touch that and I want to, and these are the smart home skills I already have working. So now I want to add a new one, magic home that, that goes with my bulb here. So I'm going to enable smart home skills and I'm going to search for magic home. And it comes right up, magic home, touch that choice. And now I want to enable that skill and I need to authorize it. I need to type in my login password uh, when I created my Magic Home account, I hit Authorize, and it's been successfully linked. Now I'm going to hit the X button in the top left-hand corner, and it should prompt me to discover devices. It does. I'm going to hit Discover Devices, and I'll wait a few minutes, and hopefully my smart bulb will be a device shortly. And Alexa has found a smart device called Smart Bulb. So I'm going to scroll down. And it says smart bulb, tap to control and edit. I'm going to tap it. But the whole point is to get this working with Alexa. So let me try that right now. Alexa, change the color of smart bulb to green. Okay. Alexa, turn smart bulb off. Okay. Alexa, turn smart bulb on to red. Okay. Alexa, Change the color of smart bulb to chartreuse. Okay. So it knows the colors and you can also do the brightness too. Alexa, change the brightness to 20% of smart bulb. Okay. So you can, you can change the brightness, you can change the color and the percentages don't have to be a round number. You can say change Alexa, change smart bulb brightness to 39 percent okay and uh there we go so she does know some obscure colors she does know anything between zero and a hundred like, essentially for the brightness so that's pretty cool uh so the only problem is uh, i've set it for this sunrise status every morning at 6 a.m it, it goes from uh, off to full brightness from 6 to 6 30 and if I really don't want to get out of bed, I'll say, Alexa, turn smart bulb off. Okay. In the middle of it, and then, uh, and then I won't enjoy the sunrise status anymore. <laughs> but anyway, we've got it working with this Alexa now. And I, I, I use a dot on purpose because I get a lot of questions about, hey, do I need a hub with these devices? Some devices, some smart devices, yes, you do need a hub. I don't have a hub, me personally, and this smart bulb that I'm using today does not require a hub. And you can clearly see that as I'm using a dot, which definitely does not have a hub in it. Now let's move on to Google Home. I'm starting the screen record once again, and I'm gonna go into my Google Home app on my phone here. Okay, so this is the welcome screen when you log into your, when you use your Google Home app on your, on your smartphone. Now we're gonna to go to home control. So I hit the menu button at the top left-hand corner, the three bars, then I, got, then I chose home control. And you can see all of the devices I already have. I'm going to press the plus button in the bottom right-hand corner to add a device. Now I've gotta find magic home here and go through similar process to what you saw with the Alexa. And here's magic home Wi-Fi. I'm gonna select that. 
and I'm going to need to authorize again. So I'm typing in the login and password that I set up with my original Magic Home app. And now it's linking. Oh, and it found it. Oh, that was quick. All right, I want to assign it a room. I'm going to say living room here. I'm going to hit done. And I'm all set. Okay, I'm going to say, hey Google, turn smart bulb on. Okay, turning on the smart bulb. And that is how you set up the smart bulb on your Google or your Alexa device. Okay, Google, turn smart bulb off. Okay, turning off the smart bulb. So thanks for watching and please subscribe. I just want to take a minute to show you the different features from the Magic Home app here. I'm going to do a screen record so that you can see everything I'm doing on my screen. And right now the light is off. I'm going to turn it on by just turning it on. And it is on. So now I'm going to touch the bulb itself and I can change the color of the bulb. So now it is green, blue, pink, red, yellow. I can do a warm white or a cool white. Uh, but that's not it. You can also turn it into a night light and you can even have different hues of the night light and different brightnesses as well. And I thought this was pretty cool. There are functions. So you can have a seven color uh, crossfade. You can change the speed. I'm going to change the speed to the fastest so we can kind of see it cycle through a few colors here. And you can do a gradual change of all the different colors. Uh, so hopefully this doesn't bother you guys too much, but I'm going to do a strobe flash. So warning, about to start a seven color strobe flash. Now I'm going to do a green strobe flash, blue strobe flash, purple strobe flash, seven, co seven color jumping change right here. And you can even set it to music to have it, um, to have your colors of your light bulb go with your music. So I'm going to put it on mic. I'm going to say, Alexa, play Only Girl. Playing the Only Girl from your library. And what it's doing is my phone is listening to my device here and the light should be changing with the music. So if you want to add a little mood lighting to your next party, you've got some jams going on. Alexa, stop. And what I thought was really interesting, I don't know how useful this is, but if there's a certain color that you want your bulb to change to, uh, you can uh, capture the color. So here's that, and then, and then capture, and you can change the colors to different things. It doesn't do well in black or white, but if you've got like a purple shirt or something, it will change color. So that's, I thought that was pretty cool. And so I'm going to switch it back to just the regular light here, and now I'm going to set up a timer. So you can create a timer here. You can have a timer that turns off and on every day at a certain time, or you can have what they consider a sunrise timer. I don't think it actually goes on at sunrise or sunset. I think what it does is it, um, you can set it for a certain time and you can start it at a certain brightness and end it at another brightness. So you're saying, okay, well at sunrise, I want it. I want to gradually turn on my light and let's say I want to do it at five, 46 a.m. every morning. So at 5.46 a.m. every morning, I want it to start at zero and then go up to 76% during for a 30 minute period and then you hit save. And then every morning it will gradually help wake you up. So um, if you have to get up before sunrise, this gives you the feeling of sunrise. And I think you also have the same, same thing for sunset. You can reverse this so you can uh, start with uh, a brightness of all the way up and then end it at zero for 30 minutes and save. So at 5.47 p.m. it's going gonna, it's gonna to be completely bright and then, and then go all the way down over a 30 minute period uh, just, to, just to get you uh, more relaxed. So here are just a couple of features I noticed on the Magic Home app for this smart bulb. See you next time.